Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be talking about a very interesting review article that has been published in the Indian Journal of Musculoskeletal Radiology which is published by Scientific Scholar. I will be speaking on the topic Orthopedic Hardware in Trauma, a guided tour for the radiologist, the first part. So to talk to us in detail about this review article, we have the lead author who has joined us today, Dr. Rakhi Kumar Porchuri, who is a lead musculoskeletal radiologist. Welcome to Medical Dialogues, ma'am. We are really happy to have you on board here with us today. Thank you so much. Even I am happy to be here. Great. Uh, great. So now that ma'am, we are talking about your recent uh, article that was published, uh, you being the lead author, if you can just first uh, tell us about the rationale for you to actually write down this review and also the literary significance for the clinical research community. And according to you, what can be the key takeaways for fellow clinicians or researchers? Uh, okay, so to answer the first and the second questions, uh, you know, when I was doing just a research on, you know, this particular subject, I realized that there were very few articles in the literature which were directed towards radiologists when it came to this topic in particular. And as the number of um, surgeries and surgical ma uh, um, treatment of uh, fractures is increasing, I realized that, you know, as radiologists, we need to increase our knowledge base because right now our reports are very simple and cursory and a lot of times uh, you know we don't even like you know write a very detailed report and the patient even often takes the films away before we can re report them you know the radiographs x-rays so that is why uh, you know i me and my co-authors we decided to get together and uh, you know we tried to uh, we wrote this article the first part and um, so the key takeaways uh, right now is that um, uh, what we have done in this article is that we have uh, described all the most commonly used hardwares uh, like screws, uh, nails, uh, you know, uh, compression plates and all their types. Then we have tried to explain uh, why we use them and mm -hmm. then uh, we along with that, uh, so the rationale being in the end, the, the key takeaway points being that once we can identify why a particular um, hardware has been used and once you can identify the normal then you can also identify the abnormal great uh, so sir ma'am definitely uh, it is advisable that as you know as you told us the diagnostic modules or the hardware techniques that have you need to be abreast about them in the latest uh, field of growing technology so uh, definitely yes so uh, if you can just briefly explain to us what is the net conclusion of this uh, review article that you just wrote so net conclusion, like I said, if we know normal, we definitely know we can tell what is abnormal. And one of the uh, net conclusion is that really, you know, conventional radiology, your x-rays, they are the king when it comes to diagnosing normal and abnormal uh, orthopedic hardware. And uh, it's very simple. We just need to know uh, what are a few uh, uh, basic rules. Like uh, we have even given a checklist at the end of the article uh, as to what you should look for when you are writing a report and uh, what are the key points. And uh, for x for, for x-rays, we have, you know, it's very simple. You need two uh, you need two orthogonal planes you need to make sure that the entire prosthesis is included and you need to make sure that at least one joint i mean definitely you have to try to include both the joints above and below the prosthesis but if that is not possible then one joint should definitely be included in the same radiograph comparison with the previous radiograph is a must that is why if you don't have a PAX in your hospital, then you must ask the patient to bring the previous radiographs because if you don't compare, then you don't know what is abnormal and normal for that particular patient. Very true, ma'am. Definitely, there has to be a comparative approach. Only once you know how a uh, previous x-ray was, only then you can actually assess the progress in any particular condition. Yes. Right. Uh, so, uh, based on the narrative and the analysis which you just actually described about the orthopedic hardware, what will uh, will there be any next part or if yes, if you can just tell us what uh, shall be likely the additional information for the audience that we are catering at? Yeah, so in the title only it's part one. So there is a part two which is uh, which should be about in the next uh, volume. So in that we will cover all the uh, commonly seen abnormalities and we are also covering 
apart from x ray the other modalities that we will see so we are going to cover abnormalities how to recognize the different abnormalities that can happen with these orthopedic hardware and uh, what uh, radiological uh, modalities to use and when great great so then definitely it, uh, people are going to uh, wait for the uh, next volume and uh, to be eager to read about it so how has been your experience of, as an author uh, interacting with the editorial team of scientific scholar as well as subsequently being chosen to present your findings to a larger audience uh, via medical dialogues uh well i have to be honest it's been uh, the journey has been very smooth um uh, and you know when we when you send an article there's always a lot of uh, uh you know nervousness whether the article will be accepted or not a and then you know how you will do the changes so the journey has been very smooth the team has been very helpful um and it's been very exciting to know that you know you are you are getting a good viewership and you know to want your article to get a broader reach um it's good to hear that you feel validated <laughs> That's very good ma'am that's very good to know so definitely we wish you all the best and uh, hope the awareness increases as you said it's always best to be abreast with the latest technology and i'm pretty sure uh, people are going to wait for the second volume of uh, your article as well now that you've given a brief about what it is going to be and what are the parameters that one should actually look out for so thank you so much for having uh, giving us your valuable time and associate getting associated with medical dialogues for your valuable insights on this article on your journey basically Thank you so much it's been my pleasure Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon